Hey guys, it's Mr. Wachowski down at Central Cabrera's Guidance Office. In this video, I want to show you how to log in and make your course selections uh, for next year inside of PowerSchool. So if you don't know where to go to log into PowerSchool, I want to show you a couple of places. Now, every student was given uh, their login information from PowerSchool back on January 6th. I think it was out of second period. Every student got their login information. Uh, if for some reason you don't have that login information or you um, you misplace it or you can't remember it or there's a problem with PowerSchool, I want you to know that counselors will be available from February 1st to February 8th during third period. Uh, they'll be in the media center. So if you have any kind of problems, even if you need help entering your courses into PowerSchool and registering for next year's classes, they will be available at that time to give you help. Okay, so I want to show you a couple places where you can find it. Probably the quickest place is on the front page of Central Cabrera's website. If you scroll down under links, and there it is under Power School Parent Student Login. That's one place. The other place is actually under um, Academics. If you go to Student Services Guidance, which I would encourage you to do, click on there. And then on the top left under Registration, um, I've put it multiple places under registration for 2017-18. Okay, it's actually on our front page. So let's go there, uh, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. And there it is. So that's where you're going to enter your username and your password in PowerSchool and log into your account to make your course selections for next year. Now once you've logged into PowerSchool, this is what it's going to look like. The first page that comes up is Grades and Attendance. So any student that spends any time in PowerSchool, this is what they're looking at. They're looking at their quarter grades, their exam grade, their final grade, um, their absences. They can even look at those as well. Um, but for our purpose in registration, we're going to look on the left-hand side under Class Registration. And here's where we're going to enter our courses uh, and select our courses for next year's classes. Okay, so once I've clicked on class registration, this is the page that's going to come up. And it has instructions. It has a couple links, one to our registration website, uh, another one to graduation requirements. And then it gives some other instructions, how many classes to choose, and then uh, the window when registration page will be open, it tells you that. And it tells you be sure that you submit your requests on the bottom of the page. So we're going to choose four core classes in English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. Um, four electives, these are classes of your choice, and then four alternates that are different than your four electives. So I want to show you an example. I've already made some, some selections here, but I want to show you how to choose in English. So I'm going to click on this box over to the right, and this window comes up, and here is where I'm going to choose my courses, my English course, for next year. Now you'll notice that there's actually more than one page. So if you're not finding what you're looking for in this page, look toward the bottom and you're going to notice there's maybe another page that you can choose from. So you click on that. Uh, you can even move to another page and find another course if you needed to and, and click on that. And then finally, once you've made your selections, you click OK. And then there is my English that I just chose under the English uh, listing here. So moving down the screen, I've gone ahead and I've made my choices for math and for science and for social studies. Uh, I want to show you about electives, one thing in particular. So again, I'm going to click on the electives box over here to the right hand side um, and click there. And I do want you to notice something here. All the classes are listed in alphabetical order, starting with counting one. And there are multiple pages that you can choose from. Okay. So I'm going to choose accounting one and then all the way, let's go to the last page and it's women's weight training. Okay. So it goes all the way from A to Z. I'm going to choose art intermediate. I need to choose four electives. Let's do health science one and horticulture two. All right. Once I've made those selections, I can click OK and then there they are. All right. Now, if you needed to go in, I want to show you one little trick and you changed your mind, I'm not real sure I want to do all these classes, you can do something kind of handy here. So let's go back in there. Um, 
and you can choose this little button up here with the double check marks and it will quickly instead of kind of sorting through every page if you click on that uh, maybe a couple of times it'll give you your request so you could go in and say well I don't want this particular class now and instead I want uh, let's go to page six and I want uh, AP human geography okay so that changed that out for me um, I want you to double check a couple things count your classes I've got one two three four five six seven and eight that's how many courses I need here are my four alternates I do want to ask you do not choose the same courses as alternates that you have chosen as your electives you can do that but we ask that you don't do that that doesn't make any sense um, choose entirely different all electives as your alternates um, classes that you would take if you weren't able to uh, get your first choice electives so be sure to do all of that and then click submit and then uh, it'll give you a summary screen in a moment and here's our summary screen where all of our classes are listed all right here's our courses some are required those are core classes some are electives and we have eight they're ordered they're listed in order of number course number actually some students may look at it and wonder if that's a preference thing it's not it's actually listed by the course number and again here are my alternates I have four and they're listed again by the course number they're alternates so I have eight and four makes twelve okay now let's say I changed my mind somewhere in the window from February 1st to the 8th when power school is open I can go back in to class registration and you can make those changes and then remember though submit them um, and then on the 8th counselors will close power school at 3 p.m. on February 8th which is a Wednesday and we will then turn around and we will print all of your course requests and we will then proceed to begin to meet with every student in the school we're gonna uh, priority is gonna be rising seniors we'll meet with them first and then uh, we'll move down the grade levels but every single student that makes requests inside of power school uh, will be met with a counselor okay so be sure that you do this and again if you do have questions uh, see your counselor okay thank you